one man, two passions. And when Ken Hayes brings his two loves together, we all reap the benefits. Now see all the honey they're making? Passion number one, bees, the hardest working insect in nature. Bees are extremely important in nature, yes. Passion number two, he's a master gardener with a backyard blooming with apple trees ready to be pollinated. And it's not just apple trees that rely on bees. Bees are extremely important to uh, vegetables, fruit growers. Uh, one third of everything you eat is dependent on bee pollination. If I didn't have bees here, I would have zero apples, apricots, plums, peaches, all those things. There are a lot of beekeepers in the state that haul their bees to California and are paid very large amounts of money to pollinate almonds, cherries, apples. And today's backyard is full of beekeepers. This is the 15th year Ken has conducted his backyard beekeeping class. We spend an awful lot of time teaching people how to manage their bees, what to do with them, how to raise honey, when to put the boxes on, when to manipulate the frames, what to look for in the hive. Just total management and ed giving them information that they can educate themselves with bees. The classes here at uh, Ken's Place is, you know, starts from the very beginning for people who have no clue about bees, the basic things is to getting into the hive, various products that you could get from the beehive. Most people are only familiar with honey. They're not aware of propolis and uh, royal jelly and you know the waxes and everything you can do with that. So that's beginning information like that, all the way up to grafting queens. So starting from one hive to making many hives. I am a new, a brand new bee beekeeper, and we have we live in Grants, New Mexico. Uh, we look across the valley of Grants, which has lots of fruit trees and people grow things that blossom there. And we look across that from our house to Mount Taylor. And I think I'm the first person in Grants, maybe in a long time, to have a beehive. At last count, Ken says there were 16,000 hives in New Mexico. Ken keeps a couple hundred hives. The majority of beekeepers in New Mexico are hobbyists. They have them in their backyard so they can pollinate their fruit trees. And people are finally wising up and getting into gardening. So you have to have bees to garden. I brought my bees home and, and carefully put them in, in their new hive home and put water out for them. And now they are, they are pollinating grants. And Ken will teach you how to make a business of bees. It would take you uh, more than 100 but less than $100 to get involved. You've got to have a veil, gloves, uh, a hive tool, a little grabber, and the boxes and the bees. The boxes are loaded with bees. The queen is busy, and each one of those little picture frame-like devices is coated with a, a little uh, base foundation of beeswax and the bees draw that out on either side about three quarters of an inch and they fill that either with babies, brood, or honey, or pollen. The queen lays a D-shaped pattern in each one of those frames in the corners they'll either put pollen or honey. And the, each one of those little cells the queen will lay an egg. She'll lay this time of year between 1,000 and 2,000 eggs every day. And the baby bees take care of the young, they, ha they hatch out, and they become cleaners, and they are, they're in the nursery, and they're taking care of the, of the new babies and the, and the larva. And after a few days, they can either become scouts, or guard bees, or field bees, and they go out and get honey and bring it back. And then a little bit here. Don't use too much smoke. That makes them go out? No, it sedates them, it calms them. And you always put your boxes like this. Don't ever lay them on the dirt, because it gets dirty. Now you can see there's plenty of bees, but they're not super strong, because I've already split them twice. This is a north comb, okay? Remember what I said about them not having brood on the north comb? Well, they made liars out of me. That's only drone brood. We're looking at sealed brood with the, with the nursemaid bees feeding and taking care of them tens of thousands of them. There is one queen bee, female, 200 drones approximately, all 60 to 100,000 are worker bees. Okay. Now look at all the eggs in there. 
See all that milk, milky looking stuff down there? Oh, oh the honey? N not the honey. Look, right where you're looking, straight ahead. Oh, you yeah. see all that? Yeah, right in here there's a lot of it. Yeah, exactly. That's larvae. You know that honey is bee puke. That's what honey is, just for the record. You should know that, okay? They bring back, they, they partially digest it, regurgitate it, and that becomes honey. And they will store their honey, and they think, hey, we're gonna have a bunch of honey. Guys like me are busy robbing that. They don't get to keep all of it. Every now and then, a bee will take its revenge. How many times have I been stung? You couldn't count them. And I just got stung in the face. So that's a great thing for the interview there. And besides showing extreme cool under pressure, Robert Engelhart shows the best way to remove the stinger. Flick it. Pulling it out will give you a full dose of bee venom. The ultimate revenge? The bee died after stinging Robert. One more reason it is so important to keep the hives healthy and the bee population buzzing. If you see a swarm of bees or you have bees in your wall or your house, please do not call exterminators. Bees are precious, they're important. Call a beekeeper, you can call me, I'm in the phone book, Hayes Honey Apple Farm. We will get beekeepers out to pick up swarms and to dig them out. Uh, a lot of the beekeepers pick up swarms free, some of them charge a little for their gas. If you have to have them dug out of your house, it will cost you not much, but the pesticide people charge you a couple hundred bucks, so we're cheaper and we don't kill bees. A beehive brings to mind the old cartoons where the bear tries to steal the honey from the hive, only to be chased and stung over and over. Let's not forget, bees are just as important to animals as they are to humans. Germinating plants in the wild that provide groceries for all game in the field. And we'd like to thank the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish for their dedication to conservation and education of New Mexico's most precious natural resources, New Mexico's wildlife.